Okay, so today we are going to talk about osteoarthritis. First, we will talk about the pathology in osteoarthritis. Then we will talk about the investigations that you have to perform in this disease. At the end, we will talk about the treatment protocols in detail. First of all, what is osteoarthritis? Osteoarthritis is the most common joint disease in human beings. It is age-related destruction of the joints. It involves degeneration and destruction of the joints, which is followed by remodeling and hypertrophy of the bones of the joints in attempt to recover. But this remodeling and hypertrophy of the joints and bones results in more damage to the joint. What are the risk factors? Age, increased age. It is, the, it is a disease of old people. Female sex. Genetic factors also play an important role. Any history of joint trauma, repetitive stress on the joint, any job, any task that causes repetitive stress on the joint, obesity on these weight-bearing joints. It most commonly involves the knee joint. Knee joint is the most common joint. Second most common joint is the base of the thumb. It also causes morning stiffness, but this morning stiffness is less than 20 to 30 minutes. It is important to... Remember that the morning stiffness is less than 20 to 30 minutes because it is the differentiating factor from rheumatoid arthritis. In rheumatoid arthritis, it is greater than one hour and it may be for hours in rheumatoid arthritis. But morning stiffness is also found in osteoarthritis, but it is for less than 20 to 30 minutes. It involves the major weight bearing joints like hip joint, knee joint. It also involves the small joints of the hands like proximal interphalangeal joint and distal interphalangeal joint, pips and dips. When it involves the proximal interphalangeal joint, it causes Bouchard nodes formation. Bouchard nodes are basically the destroyed joints that the destruction of joint with resultant proliferation and remodeling that further damages it. And dips, there are Herberden nodes. This is a picture showing dips and pips. These are the proximal interphalangeal joint and these are the distal. And look at the distal interphalangeal joint. This is a Herberden node. And look at the proximal joint. Proximal joints are also swollen. These are called as Bouchard nodes. What are the lab findings in osteoarthritis? One thing to remember is that osteoarthritis is not an inflammatory disease. It is not an inflammatory disease, so do not expect the inflammatory markers like ESR and CRP to be elevated. Unlike rheumatoid arthritis, unlike other inflammatory joint diseases like gout, rheumatoid arthritis, they cause elevation of ESR and CRP. But osteoarthritis is not an inflammatory disease. Osteoarthritis is an age-related degenerative disease. It will not cause elevation of ESR and CRP levels. X-rays is an important investigation for diagnosis of osteoarthritis. X-rays will show osteophytes, spurs. What are osteophytes? Osteophytes appear on the bone as a process of remodeling. Whenever the joint is destroyed in, in osteoarthritis, in response to that destruction, remodeling takes place and that remodeling causes production of the bony spurs, bony spikes in the joint. Those bony spikes and bony spurs are called osteophytes and these osteophytes further damage the joint resulting in immobility and pain in joint. This is an x-ray showing osteoarthritis. If you look at this side, this side is a normal side. These are the normal joints, normal pips, normal dips. And if you look at th in this picture, in this picture, this is a patient of osteoarthritis showing destruction of all these joints. Coming towards the treatment of osteoarthritis, osteoarthritis is treated conservatively. You start with non-pharmacologic management like certain exercises irrespective of the age. You, you tell them to do certain exercises that can increase joint mobility and reduce pain. And if the patients are obese, weight loss is an important factor in the treatment because obesity is a risk factor that causes further pressure on these weight-bearing joints. 
if the patient does not improve with non pharmacologic management then you have to start nsaid as needed for pain chronic nsaid therapy and acetaminophen is an alternate to nsaids and both are equally effective if the patient is not improving with the above two treatments you have to start topical agents topical agents like nsaids and capsaicin capsaicin what is the mechanism of capsaicin capsaicin basically inhibits the production of substance p substance p is an inflammatory mediator that mediates pain that mediates pain signals so substance p is inhibited by capsaicin resulting in pain reduction intraarticular glucocorticoid injections these steroids will reduce inflammation of the joint intraarticular hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid causes the pain receptors the nociceptors in the joints to transmit less pain signals so hyaluronic acid has shown to improve the pain in osteoarthritis if the patient is not getting better with all of the above treatments then you will have to go for surgical option if it is possible if the patient is fit for surgery you will have to go for joint replacement therapy hip replacement or knee replacement whichever joint is involved and if the patient is not fit for surgery because usually these are old patients who cannot undergo any major surgery who cannot take anesthesia or they have underlying conditions like heart failure or something like that so these patients are usually not fit for surgery in these patients you will have to give chronic pain management with nsaids acetaminophen glucocorticoids and hyaluronic acid in summary osteoarthritis is a degenerative joint disease these are the age is the biggest stress factor most commonly it involves knee joint and morning stiffness is for less than 20 to 30 minutes it also involves proximal interphalangeal joints resulting in bouchard nodes and distal interphalangeal joints resulting in herberden nodes in labs all the inflammatory mediators are normal x ray will show osteophytes and destruction of joints in treatment you will have to start from non pharmacologic management exercise and you will have to shift to and said if it does not get better and if patient is not getting better you will have to start topical agents intraarticular glucocorticoids hyaluronic acid and if the patient is not getting any better you will have to go for surgery if patient is surgically fit if patient is not surgically fit you will have to go for chronic pain management so this was osteoarthritis if you like this video please click the subscribe button thank you very much